Wouldn't it be great if you had just a little bit of a speed advantage when playing Pac-Man? I'm about to show you two ways to maximize Pac-Man speed just by better understanding the physics of the game. The first one is to know that you'll always move faster when you're not eating dots. If you've got ghosts on your tail, taking the clear path will give you a bit of an advantage. This is easy to see if you compare two trips across the screen, one with dots and the other without. That's quite a lead. The second is a bit more subtle, but it can sometimes make all the difference. As you approach an intersection to make a turn, go ahead and start pushing the joystick in the direction you want to go well before you get to that junction. If you do, your Pac-Man will skip a frame as he rounds the corner, putting you just a tiny bit ahead. Watch this comparison. On top, I'll turn when I get to the corner, but on the bottom, I will lead that turn. Notice how the bottom Pac-Man is just a bit ahead of the one on top when the turn is complete. It's a small advantage, but those frames can add up when weaving through the maze. Try these out the next time you drop a quarter in Pac-Man.